Hey, Robert with Zenfolio here, and today I'm going to show you how to use PhotoRefine, Zenfolio's AI-powered auto-grouping and rating software to help speed up your post-shoot workflow. Once you have installed PhotoRefine, log in using your Zenfolio account details. Now, let's import a shoot and check out what PhotoRefine does. The AI analysis is what makes PhotoRefine so powerful. It rates and groups your photos according to the parameters defined in the chosen workflow preset. If you turn this off, you will have to do everything manually, which is why I recommend leaving it on. You will be able to make manual updates to the automatic ratings and groupings. Workflow presets contain the parameters used in the AI analysis. I'll be going over the settings that make up these presets and even show you how to create your own custom workflow a little later on in the video. With a workflow preset selected, click Import. And using the power of AI, PhotoRefine will automatically group and rate your photos based on the workflow that you selected. Once this process is finished, you will be able to see what ratings were applied to your images and the photo groups that were automatically created. At this point, all the work has been done for you. Just hit finish and PhotoRefine has updated the rating and color coding in the image metadata. And you can open the images in the editing application of your choice. Layout will allow you to switch between a grid view or a focused view of the individual selected photo or group. Group allows you to view each individual photo separately, the best of each photo group, or the faces detected by facial recognition. The sort option allows you to choose the criteria used to sort the photos, and filter allows you to narrow the photos you see. For example, maybe you only want to see photos with a yellow color tag. You can also adjust the thumbnail size as well. When I imported this gallery into PhotoRefine, I chose the wedding workflow preset. If this preset did not produce the desired results, I can always run another workflow preset here. Workflow presets are a combination of auto group and auto rate settings. To better explain these settings, I'm going to walk you through the process of creating your own custom workflow. When you click on the auto group settings icon, you'll see a list of default profiles. These are part of the built-in workflow preset and cannot be changed. To create a custom profile, click the new profile button, then select the copy that was created and give it a name. Photos can be grouped automatically by content similarity, time, and exposure brackets, or a combination of all three. Content grouping looks at the actual content of your photos. At its strictest setting, it will group photos together that are nearly identical. At its most lenient setting, photos that have similar color patterns and structure will be grouped together. The time slider limits what photos are allowed to be grouped together based on timestamps. For example, if I set the slider to the 10 minute mark, photos will only be grouped together if the content is similar and they were all taken within 10 minutes of each other. Sliding the slider all the way to the right will ignore time data and focus on content or exposure grouping only. The exposure bracket setting will create groupings based on exposure compensation information in auto mode and the overall exposure settings in manual shooting modes, or you can set it to off. Once you have your auto group settings the way you want, click save. Now we'll take a look at the auto rate settings. Just like we did in auto group, let's create a new profile and give it a name. There are four conditions that can be used to rate your photos. Sharpness, which will look at the overall sharpness of your images. Eyes open, 
which will detect if your subject has their eyes open or closed. Face focus looks at how in focus your subject's face is and face happiness, which gauges the expression on faces that appear in a photo. You can adjust the importance of these conditions as well as remove any that may not be applicable. The face focus threshold allows you to adjust the expectations of face focus labels to your shooting conditions. For example, you may want to lower the threshold for live events and poor lighting conditions versus studio work. Color label allows you to select one of the four conditions and set colors to identify the quality of an image for that condition. Once you are satisfied with the settings, click Save. Now that we've created custom auto group and auto rate profiles, let's combine them together to create our own workflow preset. Create a new profile and give it a name. Next, from the drop down menus, choose the custom auto group and auto rate profiles and click Save. Now that we've created our own custom workflow preset, let's go ahead and apply it to our current shoot. We will also be able to use this custom workflow preset the next time we import a shoot. To make manual changes to a single image, right click on the photo and select the change you wish to make. The menu that appears will also show you the keyboard shortcuts that can speed up this process. For making changes to multiple photos, you can multi-select images by holding Command if you're on a Mac or Control if you're on a PC and selecting the photos you wish to update. You can also select an array of photos by holding Shift. Once you are finished making manual updates, just click Finish and Photo Refine has updated the rating and color coding in the image metadata. You can open your photos in Lightroom or the editing application of your choice by selecting the photos you wish to open, then go to Photos and choose Open With.